let's go. Uncaged secret. Control behind him. Box two. If your VR experience in DCS is like me in a sequined shirt on a dance floor, a shimmering wobbly mess, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to take your Pimax Crystal Light and make it crystal clear in DCS world. I'm going to put on some settings and pictures. It's not going to be a very fun video, I suppose, but it's going to be informative and hopefully it's going to get your experience right up there with the rest of us. Let's get cracking. One point to note is everything's recorded in VR. Obviously, what you're seeing on screen, it looks better in the headset. And it looks good on screen, but it looks even better in the headset. So, here's what I have set up in the Pimax app on the desktop. First thing I have is the refresh rate set to 90 hertz. Now, you can drop that to 72 depending on your system, but I have it at 90 hertz, and I'll show you why in just a second. Render quality set to medium. I have the Pimax central priority rendering on. Now that means if you look at the video, you might see some pixel pixelation around the sort of edges of the screen. Now I can't see that in VR because it's focusing where I'm looking. So around the sort of periphery, it's not rendering fully. But as soon as I look there, it does. It's wonderful. Uh, preferences on performance because I don't want a juddery mess. I lock it to half frame rate. Now, I believe that's similar to what ASW does in the Oculus um, software. So it basically halves the frame rate, but it means that it stays constant. There's no juddering. There's no sort of you turn your head and there's like little black bars. There's no delay. So it's a very, very smooth experience. And you need that in VR. Otherwise, you can get motion sick or it just looks shocking. The hidden area mask, I don't know what it does, but I put it on. And it works an absolute treat. So, yeah, it worked. So I kept it on. <laughs> now, of course, depending on your system, you can adjust those settings to be better or lower, depending on what you have. I have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X as my CPU, an NVIDIA RTX 3080 as my GPU, and I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM. So here are my DCS settings, and you can see on the video that it's running nice and smooth. There's no clutter. It's all... Nice and Gucci. So resolution, I've got that at 1920 by 1080. Now that's from our recording mirror, so I can get VR recordings uh, nice and square. So you can leave that as whatever. I've got one monitor. Resolution cockpit displays 512. MSAA for the anti-aliasing. MSAA is two times up. Scaling is off. Textures medium. Terrain textures low because I'm not going to be mud moving. I'll move that up to medium or high if I want to when I go low. Shadows flat only. Shadows flat blur. And then you can see the clutter, forest, forest details, all that. That's personal preference, again, on your system. Visibility, I've got set to medium. Civil traffic, it's on medium just now. I normally have that off. Clouds is standard. Water is medium. SSAO is off. SSLR is also unchecked. Lens effects, none. Heat blur, low. Motion blur, off. Depth of field, off. Screenshots, yeah, you can ignore that. Color grading, not used. V-Sync is off and all that. That's to do with my main, main my main monitor when I'm not in VR. And cursor can to game window because then I'm not going to misclick in the headset. For the VR settings in DCS, uh, obviously enable virtual reality headset, otherwise you can't do it. Uh, pixel density, leave it as one. Again, based on my system, people can up that if they choose. Use mouse, yes. Cursor can vent a game window. Like I said, I don't want to misclick outside the headset and start opening stuff I don't want to. I don't want to force the interpupillary distance. I want to leave that to my headset. Bloom effect on use inbuilt audio device. That's if I want to use my headset to talk online. I won't because I've got my microphone and I use SRS. MSAA mask size that I have it set at 0.42. The use DCS system resolution that is for my external recording that I use. Mirror eye source I'll use my left eye because I'm left eye dominant. Crop source to rectangle again that's for my recording so I can record footage like you have on screen now. Use hand controllers? No, because I don't want to. I have a HOTA system and I paid a lot of money for it, so I'm going to use it, I tell you. Hand controllers, cockpit stick? No, 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 no. I don't want to. Again, you can do that if you want. Pointer touch access? I don't want to use that. I don't touch that. I find it nonsense. Easy peasy. Now, don't forget to check out my creator code so you can get discount on your Pimax Crystal Light or Pimax Crystal Super Headset. And keep watching the channel. I appreciate every view and every like and every comment. Thank you very much. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.